Now, this is the uh, hardest stage in the game for me. Not only do the bullets have the ability to zigzag, but there are three bullets that are tracking at any given moment that can zigzag in your direction. Um, I have a better reaction to know whether or not to stand still or to jump uh, when a bullet is coming towards me on speed 3, but I just don't have the right sort of reflexes to react properly on speed 2. Add to that that the bombs at the top, again, where possibly a, and just like what just happened there, Possibly there's a bullet that's tracking up at the very top that you have really no time to react to. Um, and yeah, I, I'm lucky that in this particular run I, I only lost one life. I've gone through, um, you know, many if not all of my lives on this stage. It's not as interesting as some of the later stages, but it's just a tough, tough stage. Spellbound is another level in which you have to learn uh, the proper configuration. Uh, like, kind of like figure it, but it's not so dependent. Like, if I wanted to, I could just get the bombs in any order that I wanted. But in order to get the maximum bonus, um, you tr need to try to get the bombs in an order that spells Epic's Jumpman um, backwards. The, each bomb has a letter associated with it, and those letters are the same uh, every time that you play. So, once you uh, learn where the bombs are, the order, then you just have to go about getting them in that order. Now, I, I did cheat on this because uh, I had a handy dandy uh, cheat sheet from a run that I did earlier so I knew which letters were, but even though I still messed up because for some reason I forgot to use the second M in uh, Jumpman and uh, didn't really realize it, I was still following the script and then somewhere towards the very end I realized, oh wait, there's a one more bomb than there should be for me to finish spelling and uh, right here you can you can see me puttering about because I just realized that I was a, a dumbass and uh, then I just kind of stopped caring and so yeah Ep mix M picks jump man uh, awesome that's yeah I did a good job there blackout reminds me of an old DOS game I used to play, and I'm, I'm going to show my age here because this was a game that was I played before uh, Windows 3 even existed on PCs. Um, it's certainly not the only game, I think, that uses the whole gradually revealing map idea, but uh, Captain the Flag sticks out to me just because it, it's very similar to the way that this uh, Jumpman level works. I just remember seeing these black areas that slowly get revealed as you walk around, both on your main game screen and also the little mini-map. And Blackout is pretty much exactly the same as that. Again, it would be kind of cool if there were some bullets in this level, um, but it makes up for it by the fact that um, there are a certain amount of spots that can have bombs, but there's less bombs and there are spots and where those bombs actually are are, are random and so um, every time that you run it you basically have to go on a treasure hunt to find um, all of the bombs and uh, there is a, a best path to go around the level to just sweep through it once but obviously in this run I, I don't really remember the level that well this is a good example of a level that I think would be really difficult on speed one because even though you don't have to avoid any bullets or obstacles exactly uh, the ability to move just a little bit at a time is it doesn't happen in speed one and uh, I think it would be really easy to fall off of ledges uh, or fall off of things when you don't know where the stage, what the, what's actually going on in the stage. Here, there, everywhere is uh, pretty fun. Um, yeah. Okay. So, see, I, I moved to the right because uh, I wanted to make sure that I, I have to wait to pick up that bomb for the teleport area to go to the second spot as opposed to its opening spot. So, I moved to the right just in case there's a bullet that I need to react to that comes from the left side of the screen. But uh, as I moved to the right, uh, I accidentally hit the jump button with my other finger, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a dumbass. Anyway, this level is uh, it's straightforward, but it's a lot of fun. I like it a lot. I like the sound effect of the teleport, and um, I like the concept of teleporting. And I, I particularly like the one bomb that you have to pick up by basically suicide jumping and dying, except that you don't die because you appear in another spot. It's just a fun level, and I wish that it was there was more to it than that. 
And, uh, yeah, Hatchlings might tie with Hellstones for the second most difficult stage until you figure out the right path. But, uh, you know, unlike Hellstones, I kind of like the Hellstone stage. It's it's cool. Um, the Hatchling stage, I don't really like at all. First, um, it just makes you rush through the stage in a way that none of the other stages really do because the Hatchlings are just really persistent. Second, uh, you know, unlike the Here, There, Everywhere teleports, I just don't like the sound of the Hatchlings. I think they're the Hatchlings themselves make an annoying sound. And uh, third, if you're a dumbass like me and went the wrong way to start, then that one bomb in the middle is just really difficult to get without losing at least one or two lives, uh, depending on how sloppy you are with it, uh, like I was in this particular instance. Um, yeah, this game would suck if you didn't get any extra lives. And uh, lastly, Hurricane. Now, Hurricane is surprisingly easy, but I, I get the feeling that maybe the level is supposed to be harder than it really is, or um, the developers decided that it was just a secret kind of thing to be able to jump the large crevice and to go from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen. It's the sort of thing that I would do if I was designing the level, and then I would have fun giggling at the people that would be doing it the hard way. Because when it comes down to it, I guess I'm just not that nice of a guy. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, then you get this little congratulations screen, and uh, there you have it. Jumpman Jr., thanks for watching.